Hi guys, good to have you all back. Happy Sunday. It's the end of the 100 day project and I'm already back with a video. I told you, I told you I wouldn't be gone too long. Uh, guys, I have a Happy Mail unboxing for you guys. Um, I already unboxed it because I was way too eager to, to take everything out of the box. Now, this is a Happy Mail exchange uh, from a Dutch subscriber who I met up with last week at Do A Ding. And you might have seen my video uh, where I made the happy mail for her so this is what i got in return and they're beautiful beautiful treasures so i just wanted to share it with you so let me show you the happy mail now i did already unpack all of it because i just couldn't wait i got home and started unwrapping it straight away because i know she has some beautiful treasures um there's this beautiful magazine so gorgeous with the um, this is from 1978 with my favorite queen juliana and her daughter beatrix now i was eight then but i can remember this dress and this hat somehow maybe because it's been photographed uh, a lot of times but i i do remember this it's a it's a beautiful sort of magazine uh, all about well juliana my favorite queen and and such yeah it does have some advertisement pieces in here uh, yeah, it's from 1978, so it's very nostalgic. I can remember, look at this. I can remember people having this in their home. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh. So, yes, a lovely, lovely one. No, I'm not going to cut into this. No. Um, in no particular order. Well, I'll try to put the, all the paper bits together. This is um, from 1980. This is where one queen... Um, how do you call it? The coronation of the next queen. That's how you call it. So Juliana uh, said goodbye. And then Beatrix um, said hello. Um, and to commemorate this, they made some postcards. Now this is from Libella, which is um, a very famous Dutch magazine. Still, still exists. But look at all these. They're gorgeous. They're absolutely... Look, look at her being so young. So sort of sashy. Hello. <laughs> Yeah, just, just love them. Just love them. So beautiful. Po and they're from 1980, so they are vintage. Now, these are gorgeous. These are blueprints. I think these are blueprints, but they're not in blue. <laughs> but they're blueprints, like architectural drawings. Fantastic, right? So beautiful. I did not see a date. Well, it says 1987, so. But, um... January 1980. Are they from, well, from, from the 80s. So, love them. Another one. Yeah, a couple of them. They're all from Deventer, which is uh, a city in the Netherlands that I don't visit. Yeah, so I love them. Love. I don't know exactly what I can what I can do with them because they're way too big to scan. So, they're going to be pages. pages. Now, this I absolutely love. Look at what she made. Yeah, she keeps telling me, I'm not as good as you are. Well, love, I have no clue how you made this. So, you're actually pretty good. You're pretty good. This is sort of a course for drawing. For draw a drawing course. Look, yeah. I love it. I, I might even use it because I love drawing. Oh, 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 I love drawing. That is amazing. Can I scan this? Probably not, probably not. Well, I can scan it, but for personal use. Yeah, so love it. A whole course. Oh, fantastic. How did you make this? It is sort of raised and there's metal in here. It looks like, did she use paper clips or? I think she used paper clips. Can, can you see? It's fantastic. I've never seen anything like this. Love the paper as well. And then a whole bunch of coffee or tea dyed paper. I think tea. No, coffee. Definitely, definitely coffee. I am so extremely happy with this. Yes, it is simple and basic, but I hate coffee dyeing. I just don't like it. So thank you so much, love. I'm really happy with this. Then I got uh, two lovely um, old children, Dutch children's books so lovely i do know these ones i already have a couple of these this is like a series it has some lovely drawings sort of in sepia colors but i don't know this one i've never seen this one anywhere and i love it it's with green oh and look at the the font very lovely now i only have one of these oh and orange 
So I will not be cutting this up. Then a very old newspaper. It says special edition. Um, Rotterdam's Dagblad. No, the Rot Rotterdam's Courant. Well, it's a newspaper from Rotterdam, apparently. Yes, I have not unpacked it. It's from 1923. So I wasn't born then. <laughs> Love it, love it, love it, love it. Now, a whole bunch of sort of per, uh, like the royal family paraphernalia is called paraphernalia. I don't know. I, I could be making up words, guys. Uh, yeah, love this. It's from 1948. Look at the font. It's just beautiful. This is the speech that Juliana made when she sort of was a cor with the cor on the coronation i'm sorry guys i don't know the exact exact word for this but this is the coronation of um of juliana fantastic right don't know what this is this is a visit to bel for to belgium probably yeah to belgium because the these are the folks from belgium looks like he's wearing a nightgown look at beatrix in a beautiful dress yes so yeah love it love it don't own this one and then a whole pile of these uh all related to juliana they're all orange <laughs> of course they are uh with beaut oh look at those beautiful pictures and ugh. so i don't have these very happy with these it's a whole series fantastic i have a pretty treasure box uh, these are from Virginia Cigarette. I ha do not own this one yet. So the box itself, the, the tin, small tin, cigarette tin, is already a treasure. And then inside, loads of stickers. Butterflies. Butterflies for the rest of my life. They're so, so cute, right? Yeah. You have a lot, lovey. <laughs> so I will never run out of butterfly stickers. So I need, I need to start using them. I do like them. I love the... The colors on them they're different ones because these are matte and then these are more shiny cool right yeah so and i also really love the tin really love the tin now we had a big laugh because um i put some things in my happy mail and she put almost the exact same things in her happy mail like a, a mini miniature poster stamp album <laughs> So we sort of exchanged poster stamp album. I got the lovely red one. So I'm I'm thinking I got the better end of the deal here. Uh, but there's sort of the same date. And what she put in there are not... These are not poster stamps, but sort of other sort of seals. And I love them because I don't know these. Any of these. And these are from uh, the American Bible Society. Search so scripture. Oh, that these are lovely. I love the colors, but also what they stand for. Um, crippled children. Well, that's not nice. <laughs> these are actually all. Uh, oh no, this this is from the Netherlands. The from nineteen from eighty nine. Yes. Oh, I just love them. Look at those. Yeah. So all sorts. Also, I don't have these. I don't recognize any any of these seals. So they're apparently not poster stamps, but uh, sort of closing seals for letters and such. Oh, love those for Christmas. You know, I don't like to, to do Christmas stuff, but I have lovely seals now. Yeah. I have these. Yes, I recognize these. I do have these somewhere. They're lovely, but now I have more, so now I can use them. So yes, love it. And it's in pristine condition. Really, really nice. Then a couple of small um, envelope thingies that she made. And, aren't these lovely? Yes so cute right these are price tags i believe yes lovely price tags i'm gonna do loads with those you know? ink them up stamp them put them on projects lovely sort of coin envelope i taught her well <laughs> this is actually from um an index an index yeah or encyclopedia or or what have you there we go look yeah well she sends me amazing stuff a telegram sort of congratulating on probably a birthday oh no an anniversary an anniversary lovely ride from 1955 yeah i'm gonna have this on my desk for a little while then these are gorgeous i can scan these 
I can, yeah. But they will not turn out as well as the original because they're embossed. You can see on the back. Can you see on the back? These are embossed and gilded and in pristine condition. The colors are so amazing. Look at this. I should put this into a frame, right? Oh. Yeah, I'll scan them. Even though there's a naked lady on here. And a naked baby. Naked lady, naked baby. Fantastic. Love them. Then another sort of envelope. There was uh, there was a small tag on here. I did remove it because I had to I had to get inside of there. From made from music paper and ledger and labels. And these are a bunch of beautiful stickers of these sort of potion sort of bottles. <laughs> They're just so cute. They're really, really cute. Yeah. I have a bunch of them, so I need to use them. These can actually sort of work um, to put something else on. Yeah, I think so. I think so. So, love those. Then two cute boxes. Look at this. Saskia. Yeah, that's a, uh, a girl's name. Look at the dress. It's beautiful. Already know. I already knew what was inside when I received them because it's handkerchief. Look at... Oh. Yes. Handkerchiefs. She knows I collect these. Ooh, there's a treasure underneath. Yeah. That's a small treasure. She probably didn't know there was a treasure there. So, oh, they do smell lovely. They should smell awful because they're really old, but they smell lovely. And this one. This is actually sort of a, a sort of velvet a layer on here. Swan Deluxe. And more handkerchiefs with, with the sticker on it. Yeah, is there is there a treasure underneath? Yes, another one. Another one. Probably from the same company then. This is also from Swan. Or the same store. Could be the same store. So, part of my collection. Yes, I have some other stuff. So, she got me woolly. I don't have this woolly, so I'm very happy. Now, um, I need to show you guys. Because I do have a couple of these that are sort of similar and they're like they have these holes in there in there see they're like this this probably has a reason yeah i have no clue how to use these well i'm going to use these as a woolly on top of tags and such i love the colors but you, it's probably some sort of a technique with crochet or what have you to knit a beautiful scarf i don't but I love it. I love it. She got me a roll of baker's twine. I got her a roll of baker's twine. A much smaller one. This is pink. Because she knows I love pink. Now, I don't have this color pink. I have a couple of color pinks. But not this one. So I'm really, really happy. And it's the sturdier one. So, love it. Love it. Then, a small jar. This is with beads. I, I also um, gifted her a small jar with hardware. With brads and eyelets and such. Lovely beads. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna make some noise, guys. I'm gonna make some noise. I'm gonna. Well, that was okay. Oh, they're pretty. They are. They are. Now I have all sorts of beads, but I don't have these, so I'm very happy. And I also have one of these now. It smells nice. There used to be something sweet in here. <laughs> they do smell nice. Was it the beads? Well. Oh, I love them. They're gorgeous. Oh, I love them. So, um, and I use, these I use to store my buttons in. I have a whole collection of this. Yes, guys, I will do a craft room tour soon. I, I promise. I've been promising you for a year now, but I'm, I will, I will. Then this is actually sort of an embroidery piece for embroidering a monogram. Yeah, I did not unpack it with, I think this is an iron-on or, and then with some floss. Cool, right? I will not. Um, I will keep it as is because it's a beautiful haberdashery, vintage haberdashery piece. Now this was a roll. I did op open it up. It has the coin holders. Yes, I love those. Um, I had a couple more because I do use them. Uh, how? Well, I have guns on my desk. Do you? Yes, because I need to do another video for Gunter. Um, this is how I use them. To make specimen slides with. Yeah, are these the same the same size? I think so. No, these are a tad big bigger. Just a tiniest bit bigger. I think. Maybe not, but. 
so lovely if you can find these guys pick them up because you can do all sorts of lovely stuff with them uh they're available on amazon for sure they're plastic coin holders for coin collectors i have a whole bunch now so i don't need to order any of them anytime soon um was that it for haberdashery well not really because i have two lovely boxes let me show you look at these beautiful boxes i i don't have no clue how you made these love so well you keep telling me i'm not as good as you are yes you are look at this beautifully sort of collaged with old book pages just love it the it's probably uh, a more modern kind of box was this the original yeah, I think this is the original piece. It's a more modern kind of box that she made. Really beautiful and vintage -y and I love it. Now, let's unpack it because... <laughs> Look at those. Yes, love it, love it, love it, love it. Do I love it? Yes, I do. All sorts of trims. These are all vintage for sure. Absolutely love them. A big piece of this. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Oh, bum, bum, bum. I really, I really enjoy this. And it's a big piece. So I need to use it. Love this color. Sort of teal color. Another one with... Oh, I did not see this one. With pompons. Cute, right? Yes. Have this, you know, on the on the bottom of your of your journal. Have it as a dangle. That's just cute. More pompons. Yes, these gold ones. These were probably used for furniture. On the, on the bottom of your couch. Maybe. Um, I can imagine this hanging out hanging out hanging underneath yes you know hanging out let's what we're gonna do today we're gonna hang out on the bottom of the couch <laughs> yeah vintage for sure love them oh especially love this it is pretty it's so pretty also very nice for christmas journal i'm not ready for christmas yet guys let's start with summer oh pretty i opened up the box saw what was in there i did not unpack it so i am unpacking it on camera Love these colors. Yes, this is Rusty Hinge and Uncharted Mar Mariner. <laughs> you don't believe me? Let's see. Rusty Hinge. <laughs> Uncharted Mariner. That's what they remind me of. Cool, right? Yeah, I'm going to do a project with this for sure. Oh, this. This comes in so handy, guys, because um, I might have mentioned it in a video. I am doing the Rachel and Bella uh, collaboration uh, for this month, which is going to be Boho. Yes, Boho. Now, I don't know anything about Boho. I have never done anything Boho, but this screams Boho to me. So my video is going to be Boho Newbie. <laughs> Boho Newbie. Fantastic for Boho. Well, actually, everything in here is fantastic for Boho. Look at the gold. So, so pretty. And so much, so many of them. Well, she told me I have so much of this stuff. So don't worry, I will never run out. Okay, well. So then I'm okay. Then I'm okay. Yeah. Love. Oh, look at this one. It's beautiful. It's lace on a piece of sort of a canvas thing. What is this? We don't know. <laughs> Whole bunch of this. Yes, boho. Beautiful colors. This would have been lovely with my mermaid journal. Is it? Is it close? Is it nearby? Yes, it is. Oh, look at that. Oh, and I've made this one while the box was behind me. I could have used this. Now I'm all sorts of sad. Yeah, well, you need to make another one then. You need to make another one. What is this? Oh, it's on a card. It's like a flapper dress thingy. <laughs> oh, yeah, love this. Love this. And it's on a vintage, it's probably on a vintage card. Is it on a vintage card? Yes. Uh, actually, it is on knee and elbow protector from Hema. But an old one. An older one. Look at that. Oh, fantastic, right? Do I have any more place for this? No, I don't have I don't have the room. But I will make some room. And I have another one. I have another box. Let's unpack this one. Here's the other box. Again, beautifully <laughs> decorated with music paper. And uh, what's this? Ooh, love this sort of handmade paper yeah now what's in here uh, beautiful stuff again i think these are the were the same sort of boxes i have no clue what was in there these are sort of wooden um embellishments 
Yes, I have never used this. It's probably for scrapbooking and such, but I love them. Now you can sort of take pieces apart. Flowers and more of these flowers. You could probably even sort of draw them, well, color them in. Yeah, I have, I never use them, but I'm very happy I have these. I'm gonna try it out. I'm gonna try it out. I have a whole sort of bag here. And let's take out another tray. I'm gonna make some noise, guys. I'm sorry. I'm trying not to make. These are uh, belt buckles or clasps or or what have you. And I love those. I love those. Uh, but because you can make beautiful closures uh, for journals and such. Yeah. Oh, I have a couple of these. Oh, pretty right. Yeah. They're really, really cool. I do find these sometimes in um, in thrift shops and such. I should take more of these. Yeah, so really happy with this. Really happy with this. <clears throat> Let's put this box over here for now. These are some uh, beautiful laces and trims. Um, we call this brotherly. This is probably from a piece of a pillow or bedding or what. And I just, I just love this. I just love this. And this piece of lace. Uh, so far, I have not seen anything that I already own. And, and believe me, I own a lot. I have a lot in my collection. So these are all new pieces. I love this. Yes. Oh. This is more white. That looks like it has small birds on them. Probably not. But looks like birds to me. Yeah. If you have like the white lace lovies. And you don't use a lot of white like I do. You can color these with any ink that you have. Yeah. Make them this color with, you know, anti linen or vintage photo. Or make them this color with iced spruce. Just mentioning some colors. Ooh, that is lovely. Now, what I really, really like are the laces that don't have the flower, the floral pattern, pattern in them. Because most of it, I think 90% uh, of the lace has a floral pattern. And I do love this because it's different. It's just different. Uh, but I do love the florals. <laughs> look at those. Oh, these look very old to me. Very old. Sort of antique -y. Now, I I know a little bit about lace because I, uh, I used to work in... Uh, oh, that's the same one as the white one, but this is the cream color. Because I used to work... Uh, for 28 years in the bridal industry. So yeah, I know, I know a bit about lace. So I know when it's older and when it's newer. This is definitely older. Love this. Absolutely love this. Probably another piece of either a bedding or... Yeah. Um, was this the same as the other one? I think so. Yes, another piece. Beautiful. And this one. Well, these are not new uh, pillowcases or anything. These are older. Look at this. That is old. That is very old. I can already tell. And it's gorgeous. It's beautiful. I'm hoping you kept a piece for yourself. Oh, speaking of butterflies. Butterflies. Beautiful. Oh, there are lots more in there. Oh, that's cool. Um, butterfly journal? Butterfly journal. With all the butterflies. Oh, I, I see a but. And it's uh, like. And I can use this. And this. Oh, yes. Butterfly journal for sure. Coming right up. Butterfly journal. Love it. Absolutely love it. I have um, two two more treasures. But they're absolutely fantastic. I'm going to show you. Oh no, no. The books. I was like, I'm, I'm missing something. The books. Love the books. Really cute. Yes, this is not vintage. Because there's a, a, this on here. What's, what's called it? A barcode. But it's lovely. <laughs> and it has buttons and these rings I need to do something with these rings yeah lovely oh look at those what's this oh those are cool oh those are cool the black and white ones and I love the color schemes um, because I'm thinking yeah I'm gonna do a butterfly journal and put some of these on yeah Blue and the purples. Blue and purple. Very cool. Very cool. 
more buttons. Okay, now for the last two treasures. First of the last two treasures is this book. It's the Encyclopedia of Illustrations. I'm going to give you all the details about this, guys, because you're going to want this one. Now, she knew I was looking for this one because we have a mutual friend, Leonie. And Leonie found this one in the Netherlands in a thrift shop for one euro. I was green with envy because I know these books. They can be very, very expensive, really expensive. So she probably got a good deal because she bought multiple of these and she did not give me one, but two. Yes, I'm so very grateful. I have one to keep in my bookcase and one to cut up. Let me show you the illustration. I'm going to tell you all about it. It's a big book. It's actually a coffee table book. Probably call it this. Four with black and white illustrations, drawings, old ones, like antique ones or vintage ones, not new drawings of all sorts. Fish, insects, birds, animals, flowers. Aren't these lovely? They're all black and white, but that's okay because I, I do like these images in black and white. I really love them. Anatomy. I know anatomy is weird, but I actually sort of find these drawings very interesting. I know, I'm a weird person. Uh, architecture. Love architecture as well. Alphabet and ornaments. Beautiful. Yeah. Heraldry and armor. I have never heard of the word heraldry. But it probably has to do something with armor. Uh, costume. Hello. Yes, that's so right up my alley. Just, you know, fashion and such. And music. Yes. And leisure and sports. Transportation, occupations, all sorts, people, beautiful drawings. So a, a book full, it has 5,000 of these illustrations. Now, I already had something similar uh, because I had this one. This is the Encyclopedia of Source, Source Illustrations. They are a bit different. They could have sort of similar drawings, but it is different. It has, it has these pages instead of, you know, this is more landscape. The other is more portrait. And they are different. So I'm very happy I have both. Oh, look at this. I just, I just love this. Now I have two volumes of these. Again, these are really expensive. These are really, really expensive. Now, guys, if you are looking for this book, Gerard Quinn, this is the ESPN number. So it is a newer one. You can probably still find it. However, it's going to be an expensive one. My um, advice is if you can pick this up and you can afford it, right? If you can afford it. If you can pick this up anywhere in the States or the UK or what have you, below $30 or pounds or whatever, you have a good deal. Because I think... These are probably a lot more expensive. A lot more expensive. So now I have two. Let me let me quickly show you this one as well. Um, it is by... I think this is a little bit older because it doesn't have an ESPN number. If you can find this one, pick the, this one up as well. It has um, two volumes. I have the hard cover in volume one. And also there's a soft cover. Um, <clears throat> this is the... Morgan & Morgan, Publishers, Hastings & Hudson, edited by Johan Georg Heck. Iconic Encyclopedia of 1851. I don't know from when this is. Uh, 1972. Yeah, so this is uh, the information. So either this one or this one. They are both beautiful. Now, for the last treasure, it's going to be a laugh. You're gonna, we're gonna have fun. Let me show you. Somehow she had two of these. Let me show you. And she gifted one to me sort of as a, as a joke. <laughs> because what is it? It is a children's sewing machine. <laughs> because she knows I don't sew. I don't know how sewing machines work. I do have one. I have one on my desk even. Never use it. So she thought I might enjoy this because this is for children. Yeah, it's in the original packaging. It is fantastic. Let me take it out, guys. It is really, really heavy. I love the box that came in. It doesn't have an ESPN number. So I'm guessing this is early 70s. It is fantastic. Look at that. Yes. Um, it's made in the USSR. Yes, when it's what's called the USSR. So we can sort of date it. It's really heavy. This is probably cast iron and uh, solid wood. This is probably solid wood. Uh, hello. 
I, I don't know how it works. You just, you sort of crank it and there's like this compartment here that you could put your spools in and such. I just really, really love it. It is for me purely decorative. I am going to try it out. <laughs> I'm going to try it out, but I have no clue how this, how this would work. There's, uh... oh, oh yes, there is. I was like, there's no manual in here. There's a manual in here. What? Yes. There's a manual in here in Dutch. So that's nice. Yeah, so let let's see if I can get this to work. It says good luck. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna need it. I'm gonna need it. it. Says good luck. Yeah, okay. But this is mostly going to be somewhere decorative. I absolutely adore it. She had so much fun. She she already mentioned there's something in there. I hope you're gonna love it. You're gonna have a lot of giggles. Yes, I did. It's beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful. It see it sort of does. I don't know. I don't know. I don't. I do not want to break it. I'm gonna try it out. So guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed my my unpacking, unboxing of the fantastic Happy Mail that I have received. So many lovely treasures. So many lovely treasures. I will be back again tomorrow. Guess what? I'll be back again tomorrow with another project. No clue what. Let's see what I can come up with. Have a fantastic Sunday. Thanks again to um, the sender, the gifter of this uh, Happy Mail. I already thanked her a million times, of course. And uh, I will see you all tomorrow. Until then, bye guys.